everybody, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix, and once again, I am joined with my lovely friend, Kenzie. Hello! <laughs> it's, a, it's a pleasure to have you back. <laughs> yes, I am glad to be back here. Yep, so, uh, the, the wheel did say Sky X Dave, which unfortunately, we yeah. cannot find a single book. Yeah. <laughs> Not even a one-shot book. Nope. So we're like, let's do a ship that we haven't we we haven't read yet to make it fair. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> we decided to make ourselves suffer today. Just a yep. little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we're I think you hate this ship, right? Don't you hate this one? Yeah, I, I do. <laughs> Alright, cool. <laughs> so I'm gonna make Kenzie over here <laughs> read a, a dot book, which is Dawn X Scott. <laughs> Oh, what a world we live in. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. So, uh, I found this a while ago. Uh, it's called Finding Us. It was one of, one of the first books I added to the library of things to read for a video, so I'm proud of myself that we finally get to read it. Oh, boy. Yeah. Even though it's, like, the worst <laughs> circumstance. <laughs> oh, joy. This is gonna be so much fun. I know, right? I I'm so excited. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> and also, no description. Just label complete. So. Oh. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I do love like. Uh, I don't. I don't love this. <laughs> Listen, I I do appreciate a good enemies to lover story, both in media yeah. and in fan fiction, but. It's just an awful person, and Dawn is way too nice. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Too one-sided. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I hope this uh, person uh, at Attack on Senpai. I hope this is a good book, or I will cry. Yeah. You say. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You you can at least put a description. At least tell us what we're getting ourselves into. Yeah. Before like turn it on and ends up being like some weird screwed up shit. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, oh wait, I have my penny. I found the penny. Alright. What side would you like to be on? Um. I'll do tails again. Alright, tails you read, heads I'll read. Alright. Oh shit, that wasn't even a toss in the air. <laughs> Alright, it's heads. Okay. Alright, chapter one. Okay, I'm gonna try to be more confident so my book might be better. I hope. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Fair though. Yeah. <laughs> Scott's POV. I was walking in a forest not too far away from my farm, my family farm. I was trying to think of many ways of how to fix this problem I had. You see, me and Courtney have been going out since Total Drama All-Stars. Lately, I feel like our relationship is getting nowhere. We broke up. We make up. I wanted to make it as nicely as I could. I didn't want to break her heart. I decided to make some traps like my poppy taught me. You know, to get this stuff off my mind. I looked for a tree I usually use. When I got there, it looked like nothing it did just three days ago. It had a wooden board to walk around and such, like a balcony, only with a tree. It was unaccompanied when I climbed on the tree. How did you get here with no ladder? There was, it was really hard to climb due to whatever it was now. But nothing I can't handle. Because I've been through worse. Way worse. I mean, come on. I survived two seasons of total drama. A really painful reality show. I mean, that is fair. If you if you can survive a show like total drama, you can survive anything. Hurricane, yeah. no problem. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> Wildfire, the, not even a burn. You're, you're fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> yeah. I, after I set up my traps, I heard a faint humming from someone. I was going to run, but decided to, to ask what did they think they were doing. That what what they think they did in my tree. Animals start flying around and walking, making as much noise as possible. Can't they be quiet? I quickly hid so no one would see me. However, whoever turned my tree into an unfinished treehouse better have a good exclamation. You probably never knew this, but this tree was not just important because of a good game around here. It was special to me. Very special. Alright, you wanna do the, the Dawn POV? 
Yep. <laughs> Don's POV. I was walking around this forest, not too far away from my new house. I recently moved to the countryside so I could breathe the new auras and see all the cute and innocent creatures this place had. I haven't been disappointed yet. I loved all the friendly people around there, around here. Even if they found me really creepy. <laughs> the animals here even helped me find a new place to meditate. I built in less than two days. It reminded me of the tree I used to meditate back at home. Also where I auditioned for Total Drama and actually got accepted. Oh, if only getting up accepted to college was that easy. 20 minutes later. I was looking at this horrible sight. Traps all around my tree was just hurting my new innocent animal friends. Wait, stay here, my animal friends. You could get hurt, I said. I climbed up the tree and the birds were acting very strange. I felt a little winded. Oh, uh, along my heat, along my heat sick. I felt the heat. On, I felt the heat on the back of my neck as I put my hair up and as I put my hair up and starting to take these horrible traps down. What do you think you're doing here? A weird, a weird nasal nasal voice asked me. Well, gee, I don't know. I felt this platform for me and my. I begin. I begin, but when I turned around, I saw that nasal voice jerk. Okay. Oh, okay, uh, okay, sorry, wrap this for now. I was originally going to have have a different way they a different way they meet, but it just sounded at but it, but it just sounded as interest it didn't sound as interesting. Sorry if it's short, I felt like I was typing for weeks on my iPad. Dot's platform looks like the one from her audition in case in case you didn't know. Okay, hope you enjoyed Love Jenny. Okay. Yeah, I love that in this book it's it's canon that Scott has a nasally weird voice. Yeah. I mean, I think he did have a weird voice. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so accurate. Yeah. Uh -huh. Good on you, I guess uh, your name's Jenny. Good on you, Jenny. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, chapter two. Alright, how are you liking this so far? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> are, are you hating it yet? <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's okay so far. Okay. Maybe it won't be yeah. weird. <laughs> yeah, hopefully not. That, that, that's the bar that we're at. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. As right. long as it's not weird, then it's fine. Yeah. Oh god, as long as, long as it's not like- what, what are the books that we've read that were like, this is just fucking weird? Uh, uh, DJX okay. Reader. Yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh that yeah, one. I don't think I've ever mentioned it in the video yet. Uh, that book is gone off the internet. <laughs> yeah, it's gone now. <laughs> Out of curiosity, I went to it to see if it updated. The author deleted it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At least I assume. I doubt anyone reported it enough to, to get it taken down, but it's gone. Yeah. Yep. Yep, so... Maybe it was a blessing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, chapter two. Scott's POV. Jerk. Creepy girl. Traitor. You know... I may be a traitor, or a jerk. At least I have friends who aren't animals, I said to Dawn. She just glared at me, while I gave her that devious grin of mine. <laughs> now what? She sighed. What do you mean? I said. I hope no enemies lived here, and look here. You are not any enemy. You are the worst, she said, trying to keep her cool. For a while, we just glared at each other when I heard my oldest brother, Rodney, call out for me. We got along, but he was a love sick puppy. Oh, the dude from uh what is what is the name of the island? Pakatu Island? Yeah, yeah, Pakatu Island. Yeah, Pakatu, yeah, yeah. I ignored the oh shit, my okay. <laughs> I ignored the call and stared at Dawn. He had longer hair, was at least six inches taller. Or wait, wait, wait. Is it like canon that they're sixteen in in the shows and whatnot? Yeah. Don't you stop growing? Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Maybe she's just a late bloomer, like super late or some shit. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> she had longer hair and was at least six inches taller, and her eyes seemed to be a bit brighter since I've last seen her two years ago. Shit, they're eighteen now. <laughs> Wait, what? Damn, I guess. Yeah. I asked a question. What are you doing here? I asked her again. I built this so I can have some peace and quiet for my loud neighbors and parents. What do you think? She snapped at me. Ronnie was coming into view, so she clenched her fish and I was annoyed by her presence. Scott! Courtney's here, he called from below, not noticing the creepy blonde 
here. Who? I asked, not hearing his voice. You know, the CIT girlfriend of yours, he replied. Alright, you take over Don's POV. Okay, Don's POV. He, he, Don's POV. He thinks he's smart. He didn't even hear that man, who had a very kind aura, say, say that his girlfriend was here. Go see your girlfriend who said who said that you were a rat, I scoffed. I, I usually was never so rude, but it's Scott. His, his aura is gray, meaning he's everything bad. I was a very handsome rat on, on, on that list of hers, he said cockily. As he, as he started climbing down, I rolled my eyes in annoyance. I mean, he, I forgot that she did that. She, like, drew him as a rat. <laughs> on, like, yeah. a hit list. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Here, I'll, yeah. I'll, read, uh, I'll read Ronnie's POV real Ronnie's quick. POV. Okay. Alright. Ronnie, alright. I was walking with my little brother Scott to the farm so he could see his bossy girlfriend, Courtney. So, um, who was that back there in that tree? I asked. Her name isn't worth mentioning, he said, shrugging his shoulders. I knew who it was right away. Was it that aura reading girl from the first season you started in? Dawn? I asked, even though I knew that answer. I said her name wasn't worth mentioning, he said, clearly pissed about the situation. Oh, okay, man. Sorry for asking, I said. When we got there, Courtney was fixing her makeup like in such like most city girls do unlike alberta she didn't put much on who the fuck is alberta <laughs> are we supposed to put that in alberta what all right well i don't know who alberta is but apparently she's makeup heavy <laughs> yep don's pov is everything all right i asked my animal friends who were up there they seemed fine to me i i thought of my friend ella who was still in the city she loved animals as much as i did we, we even volunteered at local shelters for them. She also loved singing. I, I, I thought I thought of when we were seven, we, when we became friends. Oh. Okay, I Flashback. really like that. Like, Ella and yeah. uh, Dawn being friends and whatnot. Yeah. Because it makes a lot of sense, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Flashback. It was a rainy day when da when Dawn was walking through the halls of her new school. She felt lonely since it was her first day at first grade at this new school. Dawn had seen a girl in in, in a pink snow coat with mat with matching boots on the ground being bullied. Dawn ran over and protected the girl with a nice aura from all the bullying. What are you doing? Bullying is horrible. You sick creatures, Dawn said, cre creeping out the other kids. Hi there, I'm Dawn. Thank you for helping me. Does this mean we are friends? Oh, and I'm Ella, by the way, the black-haired girl said in the flashback. That was the start of our friendship. Aww. I really like that. Yeah, me too! Quickly, I need art of these two being friends with some animals. Quick. <laughs> yes, I, I agree. <laughs> Scott's POV. I was currently walking around town with Courtney when all my stress came back. How was this- how was I going to work this out? I wanted this quote-unquote relationship over, and my tree back. This may take some thinking. Oh, apparently and they then posted little, two no. chapters in one night. Good on them. Efficiency. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Three. Chapter three. Don's POV. It's been a week since I have been since I have seen that evil ginger. That doesn't mean he kept trying to ruin my spot. My animal friends get scared when I leave because then Scott co co comes and places more traps. Fortunately, I will have to see him soon. Why? School is starting soon. We, li we, we, live, we live in the same school district, which means we most likely see each other more often. Great. But luckily for me, that's in two weeks from now. 14 days without that freckled devil. I was, in my family's, I was in my family's guest room. I was inviting a friend, my only friend, Ella. We both loved animals. We both loved animals. In seventh grade, we started volunteering at local shelters for them. We also did normal things, like sleepovers with pillow, with, with pillow fights and gossip. Not that I care for gossip, but it was funny when you, but, but it was funny when you were, when you were with that songbird. She taught me to sing, I taught her to meditate. She was staying for a week, so I was going to have fun. Hopefully we don't bump into Scott. Two hours later... They run into Scott. <laughs> yep. Mm, yep. Mm-hmm. I, I was, I was now in outside on my porch trying to chat with my animal friends when I see three boys my age walking around laughing like maniacs. Only one was a true maniac. Scott. 
Why does this keep happening? Then there was then there was a white car coming. Oh, thank goodness. Ella is here. Just in time. Alright, Scott's POV. I was with my brothers, Ronnie and Steve. Who the fuck is Steve? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Who are these people? Made up characters. Got it. <laughs> yep. When I noticed her, I forgot she lives here now. Great. I have to go to the same school. Then, a white girl with a girl singing something about her Prince Charming. I was singing something about her Prince Charming. He pulled into Dawn's driveway. When the girl who was trying to be a Disney princess got out of the car, she and Dawn hugged and stuff. Cousins? Nah, the only thing that, that they have in common was that pale skin. Friends? No, Dawn is, anti is an antisocial freak. I probably ignored them and quickly caught up to my older brothers. Damn. I get that. Listen, I know that Dawn's kind of like spooky because she because she yeah. like, doesn't know like personal boundaries or some shit like that or whatnot. Yeah, or she doesn't know like social cues. But like, she's not a freak. She's very cool. <laughs> exactly. And don't call her antisocial. That's like very. That's like not cool. Yeah. <laughs> so when are you planning on breaking up with Courtney? Rodney asked. I don't know yet. She makes it really really hard. I said frustrating frustrated that I still can't figure this out. Dude, dude, it's so easy. I've done it several times. Just do what I do. I just do it over text. <laughs> yeah, just just tell her that you want to break up. It's not that hard, dude. I mean, I, I guess it's somewhat hard if, if you're dating a mm -hmm. fucking psychopath, but like... Well, yeah. I guess Courtney is kind of a psychopath, but like, yeah. just say like, listen, you're gray and all. But I don't think this is gonna work at all. I don't really see us going any further or building up a future. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to end. <laughs> That's all you have to say. Yeah, it's, it's so all easy. you gotta say. Like, come on, dude. <laughs> Don's POV. After we unpacked Ella's stuff, we, we went out to look around town to catch up with each other. I auditioned for the next season of Total Drama. Isn't that great? Ella's saying happily. I gasp at this. She's aware that Chris will be harsh on them, right? I mean, he's been in jail. He's been- he's more insane each year. Why? The man has been in jail, and you would- and, and, and where would you go? D didn't the island sink? I regret- I regret ever audition- I regret ever auditioning. You- you most likely will too. I just don't- I just don't, don't want you to go through- go through with what I- what I had to. Even if you get accepted, I said, with complete panic in my voice. Don't worry, I'll- I know I'll be fine, she said with a smile on her face. I sighed. Okay, I hope you're right, I said. Mother Earth, please protect her if she gets accepted. Damn, jokes on Dawn. Everything on that island that she's going to is mechanical. <laughs> yeah. No Mother Earth to help her on that one. Uh-huh. <laughs> Alright, Scott POV. I was with Courtney and Rodney. He was looking very pleased. Oh shit, that's not a good sign. Audition for the mm. new season of Total Drama so I can find my true love, he said. Corny and I gasped at this in shock and tried to explain that the million isn't worth it, even though it was. And see? What did I tell you? Ronnie is a lovesick puppy. He even falls in love with mannequins at the mall. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <To paste. laughs> well, good luck then, big bro, I said. Yeah, you'll need it, Corny said rudely. Oblivious <laughs> to her tone, he nodded and said, Yeah! And ran off. Mother, watch over him for me, please. Yeah, mm, yes. <laughs> oh God. gosh. Doesn't he like get voted out really early? Yeah, he does. Damn. He ain't making it far. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Alright, chapter four. How many chapters are there? Holy shit, there's 18 of them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This well, person is really dedicated to this shit. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's a good story. We don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's been pretty good so far, to yeah. be honest. <laughs> like, the characters are in character, at least, and not just doing a bunch of weird shit. Yeah, oh my god, the, the, the bar is so low that <laughs> the yeah. characters actually being themselves is like, we're impressed. <laughs> yeah! Oh, oh my god. We've fallen off. <laughs> Yeah, we- we did- we are. <sighs> Alrighty. Okay. Don's POV. I was quietly meditating with Ella. We- we- we have had so much- so much time to catch up. 
It was quiet. The only things you could hear were multicolored leaves rustling against the early fall wind and the animal friends every now and then. <laughs> when, when we were finished, Ella suggested we go back to school shopping and such. Usually I would say no, but today I felt I felt like it would be fun. 25 minutes later, we were now at the, we were now at this little boutique in town. Even though we just started shopping for clothes, I feel like it's been forever and I want it to end. So, you and Scott, Ella said. What about me and him, I asked. Are you still rivals? Will you be friends or even more than friends? She no, said. we were just talking about characters being in character. Well, I guess she is into like the romance, right? So, well, yeah, yeah. Okay, I guess, okay. They get a pass. This is okay, in character yeah. for Ella. All right. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> I was about to get table. worried for a moment. <laughs> and I'm like, God damn, but we just commented this book <laughs> and it's just like, psych! Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I nearly guessed what's the thought of romance. Even if we were enemies, doesn't he have a girlfriend? I'm not surprised. Since so many people have thought of us as a cute couple, it's written in their auras, obviously. <laughs> As if, as if, me and Scott are trying to stay away from each other for a reason, I said with a hint of annoyance. Oh, but, oh, but you would be so cute, she said with awe. But he has a girl, but he has a girlfriend, Ella. Even if we weren't enemies, Courtney would be in the way. And I begin to have a rainbow of colors thrown at me. Go try those on, Ella said happily. Honestly, I was hoping not to become a new Disney princess. When we found an empty changing room, I found some nice clothes that I actually liked. My most favorite my most favorite outfit, oh, outfit are spelled separately, but okay, was a blue shirt with stars all over it, along with some plain jean shorts. I I I realized this this looked good with a necklace I had back at home for my dad before he died. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is it, like, a requirement for total drama stories to have some kind of, like, broken home dynamic? I feel like we've read a couple that, like, broken home dynamics. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Like that one Ali and Tess one with, uh... That's right. Ali. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a requirement <laughs> for making yep. a character. You gotta go through the checklist and make, like, alright, alright, unique character design, uh, yep. some weird... Mm -hmm. What is it, like, a... Like a yeah, what are they called? Like, uh, stereotype, and then, like... Yeah, stereotype. And then, like, some family drama. And trauma. Yep. Woohoo! Yeah, it's like either or. It's like either they have, like, a ton of trauma or a ton of drama with their... Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, gosh. I was with Courtney at the ice cream shop. We were on a date. Hopefully it, it's... Hopefully our last. I was still thinking of a way I could make her not... As, wait, make her not sad. Like, when her and her ex Duncan broke up a few years back, we were in line when she grabbed my hand and smiled. You know, you've been acting weird for this past week or so. Is there something wrong? You know, I'm here for you, Scotty. She said happily. Thanks, it, but it's not, it's really no big deal. Just I, um, person I don't like much is all. Oh, damn. <laughs> Wait, did he really just say that in front of her? Yeah, he's like, yeah, I just didn't think of this person that I don't, I don't like very much. <laughs> oh my gosh. Man, if I could just... Wow. Like, if I could just take Scott real quick and just pull him out of the store and be like, just do it, just tell her. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just, just, just tell her. Just just tell her. <laughs> Because if she figures out that you met her in that situation, she's gonna kill you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I say, trying to hide the fact that I was- that I think I really needed to end this relationship. Is it that blonde girl down the street from where you live? Dawn, I think her name is. She said, zoning out while looking at the menu. Uh, yeah, that'd be her, I said. After ordering our ice cream, we did the usual stuff. Crack jokes and laugh like no one else was there. When the bell at the door rang, meaning more customers. A girl with black hair that looked like Snow White entered. Midway through the door, she looked back, pulling someone, something or someone in. Then Dawn came into view. Great. Now she's going... Oh, wait. Great. Now she's going on her... Wait. <laughs> it's fucking me up. I'm just gonna read it straight up. Okay, now she's going to our date. Question mark. Yeah. There you go. That gave me an aneurysm <laughs> for some reason. Yeah. Fair <laughs> Uh, I struggle with that sometimes too, trying to like read things. 
Yeah. Well, like, I read it, I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. Am I missing something? And then I'm like, no, yeah. not missing anything, just doesn't make sense. Yeah. Don's POV. After all that shopping, we went to order something, something to eat since we started to get hungry. When we arrived at the ice cream shop, I stopped right, I stopped right, I front, I, I stopped right in front of the door. It says, I front, for some reason. Not, not feeling like this was a good idea, Ellie went in, turned around, and grabbed my hand, pull pulling me into the store. <laughs> we were, well, 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 aren't you coming? She asked playfully. Well, now that I think about, uh, well, now that I think about it, in, in I said as as I saw Scott and Courtney laughing, I had a weird feeling in my stomach. Courtney's POV. Ooh. I think I'll go ahead and read this one. Alrighty. Courtney's POV. I was happy to be with Scott, but Dawn is here. I feel like that that she secretly likes my man. <laughs> girl, you can <laughs> keep your crusty ass man, girl. No one wants it. Exactly. It's all shit. You know what's really funny is those girls that like, if, like they think that everyone wants their man, but their man looks like a fucking rat. <laughs> That's yeah. Courtney. yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, that. T typical Courtney, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> There's just no way she could vent it to herself. If she did, I could take down that pasty 2.0 in seconds. I I didn't like I didn't like what I saw in TD in, in TDROTI Revenge of the Island. Was she flirting? Point is, I'll crumble her. I'll crumble her just like I did with anyone who got in in my way with Duncan, even Gwen. But but we forgive each other. But we forgive give each other, and, and and now and now are very, and now are very happy being BFFs. Even if she went to, even if she went to another school, ah, uh, I'll get you, Don. Just watch. One step, one step to getting my man. You'll regret. I have my lawyers on speed dial, and I'm a violent person after all. Ugh. How the fuck can Courtney be jealous of what happened on Revenge of the Island if they started dating at All Stars? <laughs> Exactly! It's <laughs> season 5! Don Scott men in season 4! Exactly! That is some yeah. stupid shit, Courtney. I'm sorry. Yeah, like, what is wrong with you, girl? Oh girl, my just, god. Just say you're insecure. Just say that. Yeah, just, just say it. Like, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was thinking of all the ores I had yesterday at the ice cream shop. Some were nice, others not so much. There were two ores in in, in my mind that I could that I could not just ignore. Scott and Courtney's ores are very different. How could how could they even stand each other? I mean, Courtney was all all about power and money. Scott, well, his changes a lot. So he's unpredictable. But I already but I already knew this thanks to watching Total Drama All Stars once. I was in my sanctuary. The trees, the three Scott and I would not stop fighting over. When I felt a vibrate in my pocket, it's my phone. I checked the number. I was going to not answer it, but but it scared, but it scared all my animal friends away. Hello, you've reached John Medrick. Medrick, I said, confused, confused, since no one ever, ever calls me. I I don't even I don't even remember giving out my number to anyone. Hi, this is Courtney, as in Courtney Barlow, Scott's girlfriend. I I heard a voice. Courtney, I heard a voice. Courtney say, "Wait, wait, uh, wait. Did, did Courtney like, like, do some illegal shit to get this girl's phone number?" Yeah, how did she get her? How the fuck did she get her phone number? <laughs> Dude, th this is what uh, like, oh uh, shit, what is it like? Data brokers where they like sell it, like their people's personal information. Courtney just like bought it off of them and got her girl's number. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my god, Courtney, what the? <laughs> Oh my gosh, Courtney is crazy in this story. Yeah. Holy I mean, she's crazy in the seasons and whatnot. I mean, yeah, that, I mean, yeah. So it's accurate. So I mean, it's accurate. Yeah. <sighs> Hi, this is Courtney, as in Courtney Barlow, Scott's girlfriend. I heard a voice. Courtney say, "Uh, okay, Courtney, what would you love to talk about?" I asked nervously, since she sounded very angry. <laughs> I'm warning you, stay away from my man, or it'll be the last thing you do, creepy girl. I will make school miserable for you in three days if you don't obey. 
I'll have a lawsuit in seconds! She nearly screamed at me. Are you kidding me? That'll be easy. Me and Scott hate each other, I said, and hung up. Damn. <laughs> she just got rejected. <laughs> <laughs> Scott's Courtney's POV. Uh, how could she just hang up on me like that? I was with Scott and a few of our friends celebrating the last few days of summer. You okay, babe? I heard Scott say to me. Ugh, yeah. I was just talking to my lawyers about my, um, contract with the show. I don't want to be- I, I don't want to be on the new season as a guest or whatever, I said happily. Oh yeah, I need to talk to mine later. Thanks for reminding me, he said, and ran off to find the Sky friends. His guy friend. I then called Gwen and told her my problem. Damn. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I love how, like, after Total Drama and whatnot, like, the further the seasons went in, I love how, like, everyone now has their, like, a lawyer to look over the, the Chris McLean contracts. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's the shit that they went through. That I love that that's, like, like canon in this book. <laughs> that yeah, Scott, like, too. even though he's a farmer boy, and he lives, like, on a farm or whatnot, he has a lawyer, like, a personal lawyer to look over for yeah. some McLean's contracts. <laughs> Courtney yeah. is acting weird, and she thinks I'm the weird one? She's hiding something. <laughs> you, you mean she threatened you? Ella asked in complete shock. Yeah, she thinks I have a crush on that guy. I rolled my eyes. I felt unsatisfied. A I, I felt unsatisfied after I said that. But why? No, Don. Don, look at look at me. Don't fall for the crusty ginger. Yes, please. <laughs> no. Come on, he doesn't even shower, man. Exactly. Bro looks like the type to like take two shirts, sniff them, be like, oh, this one's less stinky, and then put it on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Scott's POV. <laughs> God damn it, why was my joke so funny? I was I can like see it now. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. I was now yeah. on the farm playing with the animals, thinking of how Don could would hate that. Wait, why am I thinking of Don? I then started thinking about the tree. I was gonna get it back. I was walking through the forest noticing all the animals. Uh, where the f- oh shit, I- I got distracted by this stupid fucking ad, god damn it. I was walking through the forest noticing all the animals walking around being happy. Easy for them, at least. They don't need to worry about breaking up with any- any sick? Oh, uh, CITs. <laughs> <laughs> I had finally thought of a way to break up with Courtney. Just be honest, be kind, and tell her to her straight. Even if I could just find the right time. Do any time's the right time. Exactly. Pick up the phone and call her, man. <laughs> yeah, just do it already. Yeah. Stop stalling. The farther you stall, the further it's gonna hurt. <laughs> exactly. Because then you're just gonna be like, I've been thinking about this for like a month now. And you know what? It's time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> when I got to the tree, I was it was completely empty of animals or people. It had done stuff all over the place and, and didn't ever tell her this. But I liked it. It was very organized in a very nice way. I noticed something bright green out of the corner of my eye. I walked over and it turned out to be her cell phone. It didn't have much, but I, I had a, it had a couple things like Instagram, music, and photos of her and Ella. He, he wait, wait, he's just snooping <laughs> through her phone. Yeah. I, wait, what? Yeah, he just like Dude. found her phone and just start looking through it. What the hell? What? Dude, that's private. Yeah. What are you doing? I guess she, uh... <laughs> I guess she doesn't have a lock on hers. <laughs> I I After a while of scrolling, I noticed a family picture from what seemed like three years ago. There were two parents and three kids, including Don. One with a girl that looked like Don, only older. And then there was Don. She had a bright, beautiful smile. Then lastly, a boy who looked exactly like Don, only with green eyes. You could tell almost instantly they were twins wait wait if they were twins they're they have to be identical well fraternal twins yeah they share the same dna like they have the same hair color and same eye color yeah maybe it's just a mutation <laughs> probably canon that's the <laughs> oh, we're, oh okay i got my stupid stupid rant okay they all look so happy i went back to a more recent photo and saw the father and the male twin missing 
Everyone was wearing black. Was was this a funeral? I quickly sighed and heard someone coming. I quickly climbed down and made a run for it. I realized I forgot to turn off the phone. Oops. Oh no, dude! Stop it, you freaking idiot! You, Why? No brain. <laughs> yeah, it, it, at all. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I left Della with my mom and stepdad as I went back to the sanctuary where I accidentally left my phone. I was walking through the forest at, at, as, I, as I felt a faint, but recent presence of someone, most likely Scott or his family. Once I got there, my phone wasn't where I put it. I got nervous, very nervous. I, I noticed it was on the floor, on the floor where I nearly walked on. I then picked it up and, tur and turned it on and saw the photo of me, Dad, Dawson, Mom, and, and, and older sis, Caitlin. I, I forgot I still had this photo. It was before Dawson, my twin brother. And my real dad died. Oh. oh. So her brother... Oh, dang. Wait, how the fuck yeah. did they die? I, how did they die? I gotta know. Yeah. Me not... too. I sat there on the edge... On, on, the, ed on the edge of crying for a while. Kayla was now... In and now in her third year of college, and I missed her, and I missed Dad and Dawson too. They died two years ago after I got eliminated from Total Drama. I started to cry. Oh, I'm, I'm, I miss you guys. I miss you, Dawson. You too, Dad. I said to no one in particular. I knew Ella would be looking for me, but I, but I couldn't care. I wasn't o over their deaths. I, I didn't know if I ever will be. Stupid drunk driver. Why did they have to die? Why? Oh, it was a drunk driver. Oh. That's Dang. always the worst. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that always sucks. Yeah. Why, why did they have to die? Why? I noticed Ellie sit, sitting next to me with a sad smile on her face. It's okay, Don. I know you miss them, but they but they would want you but they would want you to move on and be happy again. She said trying to comfort me. I don't know if I can move on, Ella, I said, hugging her and sobbing. And, and sobbing. This is why Ella's my best friend, and my only human friend. She always comforted me when I needed the most. Needed it the most. God damn, dude, what the hell? That's <laughs> right! Just got, just got so sad all of a sudden. God! <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to financially recover from this. <laughs> me neither. Don's POV. I was quietly sitting in the in the guest room, waiting for Ella to come as we could start packing her things. Ella was leaving since her first day of school of senior year started tomorrow. Me meanwhile, meanwhile, mine started on Tuesday, the day after hers. I, I I thought of how I might make new friends and some unfortunate rivalries. I thought I thought of how back how, I thought of how back a few I thought of how back back a few years back I was in rivalry with someone who wouldn't stop picking on me. Because I lost my family in life. Damn. My dad and my brother. Bro, you Speaking shouldn't of... pick on someone because their family died. That's, that's yeah, a low that's, blow. That's <laughs> fucking awful. Jeez. <laughs> Poor Don. Yeah. Speaking of then, I thought of how I cried over them just two days ago. I quickly stopped thinking of them when Ella came in, ready to pack up. We, 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 we worked really good as a team and everything. So we could finish really fast. I neatly put in her clothes and, as she made sure we weren't leaving anything behind. I was upset as we could no longer study together after school and do the normal things we did. I was wondering how I could- how I would survive my senior year with idiotic freckled traitor. When Ella left, I quickly left the house to go to my sanctuary to see all the cute, innocent animals. They all seemed to be fine until I noticed more traps and it looks like and it, and it looks like someone was trying to vandalize the sanctuary. God, I he he knew I would hate this, and I'm afraid to admit it. But he knew me so well, in all the bad ways, of course. But luckily, he doesn't know everything. My fears, my personal life, or did he? I started to take down all the traps and fix it and, and fix the floorboards and everything. But was what was such a mess? Damn. <laughs> yeah. At some point in this, because Scott knows, like, somewhat knows that, like, the dad and brother are missing and there was funeral pictures, I'm assuming he just pieced it together. I don't know if he's smart yeah. enough to do that, but he might have pieced it together. 
If he Probably. brings it up as an insult, I'm going to chuck my computer. <laughs> same. Uh, yeah, same. I'm gonna be so pissed. Yeah, that's such a fucking low blow to do. Like, it's, it's it one really... thing to make fun of someone's, like, appearance and whatnot. Or, yeah. like, how they suck at something. Mm -hmm. Why would you bring up the dead family, alright? Exactly! <laughs> okay, I can do this. I can do this and everything will go back to the way it was before. Right? I mean, breakups usually work that way, right? No, they don't. <laughs> they don't. Scott, I don't- I don't mean a- the pry or anything, but you are so wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was with Courtney at the farm farmer's market on the other side of town, which wasn't too crowded since the rainy weather was in, and the weather fit perfectly with today. Oh, damn. Why at the farmer's oh. market? You're gonna- Don't do it in public, man! You're gonna cause a scene! Also, yeah. if you drove her there, you gotta drive back! Exactly! That's such a bad- That's why I just said just text her call. That's it. Exactly! Like... You're digging yourself a grade, my, my boy. Yeah. Um, oh wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Courtney, there's something I need to talk to you about, like, right now. I said, trying to gain her attention. She turned and said, Yes, Scotty? What is it? She said happily. Doesn't she remember what there's something I need to talk about mean? Oh. Courtney's P Oh, boy. Courtney's POV. Oh, no, I don't- I don't like what's about to go down. Scott sighed. I'm breaking up with you. Why? I thought you loved me, I asked, hoping this was a nasty joke. I, I feel like our relationship hasn't gotten any better for a while now, and as, 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 as much as you have changed, you still treat people like complete shit. I saw Dodd's phone a few days ago back and heard the conversation when you talked to her. I, 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 I know we are enemies, but, but, you, but you shouldn't go around treating her like shit because you think she likes me, he confessed. What was this was established? <laughs> you just started... What? what? I thought you just scrolled through the photos and then saw like her dead dad. I didn't. I thought. <laughs> yeah, are we missing something? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they forgot to write it in. Probably. <laughs> I was going to say something, but I just stomped off. I just stomped off in complete anger. I I, I knew this. I I knew this had to do with her. I I, I should I should have know. I, I should have know it as soon as she came along. Oh, oh, she will get a hot steaming bowl of revenge. Or was it supposed to be cold? <laughs> I had no intention on saying anything about Don or a breakup, but it slipped out, yeah. out of my tongue. Yeah. yeah, right. I feel like that was plain. <laughs> yeah. Everything I said back there was honest. I felt like she had treated Don horribly and heard the conversation. And I didn't like it. Wait, what? Since when did I care about her? Is it supposed to be some kind of weird enemy thing? Well, yeah, I guess. Or is it? Dun dun dun! <laughs> oh no. Oh shoot. Scott. Scott. He, uh, oh, Scott's be Okay. I got up early, uh, extra early today, so I could do some farm work and not be late for school. The sun hadn't even started to rise yet, but it was a beautiful Tuesday morning. What the fuck goes to school on a Tuesday? <laughs> Yeah, but who's the, wait? Doesn't it usually start on like? I always the the ones that I've been to. It either starts Monday or like Thursday, so they like get to know everyone. Then they have like a half day Friday, and then the next Monday is when they fully start. Yeah, the school system's weird, right? I don't like it. Yeah, <laughs> I quickly fed the goats, pigs, cows, sheep, chickens, and all the animals. Just say uh, you fed all the animals. <laughs> was yeah, the exactly. <laughs> It was the easy part. Now I had to collect the eggs. I was quick but careful, collecting each egg before the chickens came back. They're either they're either bipolar or they hate me so much. Ronnie and Alberta think it's funny. They need to try doing this then. That would change their mind. One, two, three, four. I was counting how many eggs I had. It was pretty much finished. When I walked out of the smelly cramped chicken coop, all the chickens began chasing me. I just fed you! Shoot! Go! Get away! Stop it, you beast! I said as they started pecking my feet, which really hurt. In the background, I could see Ronnie and Alberta trying to hold in their laughter. I could hear them saying things like, He's scared of chickens and sharks. He And they would not stop laughing. 
After I finished my chores and ate breakfast, which was one of Ma's old recipes, I quickly got to change into some jeans and my regular old t-shirt and walked out of the door to school. As I walked, I could see Don's house. It was a nice two-story house that's been there before Pappy was even born. I could see what I think was her room with some blue walls and purple curtains. It just felt like it was her, so it was my guess. Why is he looking Don? through her window? Yeah. What kind of fucking yeah. creep is this? <laughs> right. Just gonna like you're just gonna like stalk her. Yeah. <laughs> Don's POV. I woke up in my room with multiple shades of blues, purples, and greens. I didn't want to get up. My bed was too com comfy, and I felt like my room could protect me from fr from anything that would happen today. But yet, I got up and quickly slipped on sl slipped on slipped on the blue starry shirt I got I got in some faded jeans with my old sneakers and put my hair and put my hair in a braid and ran out the door. Then then I started the car as I drove as I as I drove. I saw Scott up ahead. I knew we were enemies, but it wouldn't hurt to give him a ride, would it? I feel like it would. <laughs> it, yeah, it, yeah, it definitely would. Don, I know it's in your character, but stop being nice to people who don't deserve it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Next to me, a white car pulled up and the windows rolled down to reveal Don. What do you want, creepy girl? I asked. I just wanted to ask if you wanted a ride. Is that okay, Mr. Freckles? Or are you too cool to accept a ride? He said with no tone. He looked like she was staring into my soul. Is she reading my aura? A moment of silence was now broken as she said, Well, are you going to get in or not? I don't have all day, she said annoyed. Uh, yeah, I'll accept your ride. On one condition. Don't call me Mr. Freckles again, I said with a smirk. I said with a smile creep. I saw a smile creep up in her face, but it disappeared in a blink of an eye. Don's POV. After Scott got in the car, we stayed silent for a while. As I concentrated on driving, Scott turned on the radio and, by the books of it, felt more comfortable. Once we got to school, I, I found a parking space and Scott said that, that, that they don't get much new kids in the high school, so I was going to be a big deal. Great, just what I need. I noticed all the kids were staring at me. I, I, I turned to Scott, but he was already gone. Most of the kids had similar auras and personalities as, 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 they, as they did at my old school. So I didn't, so I didn't study onto too many of them as I went... As I went to pick up my schedule, a girl with brown hair and purple streaks uh, and purple streaks in her hair wa walked to my locker. I immediately read her read her aura. She was kind, quiet, and sweet. H Hi, I'm Nina. And 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 are you Don? And are you Don from Revenge of the Island? I can't believe I'm talking to you. I rooted for you all the way. N Nina said to me. Hi, Nina. Nice to meet you. I think I just made my first friend here. Yeah. Aww. Let's go. Oh, oh, and Nina's an OC. Okay. Nice. We love a good total drama OC. Yeah, let's go. Alright, since there are 18 chapters, I feel like we should end it on this one after we read. Yeah, way, I agree. That way, like, the next time we have to read this, we'll, like, speedrun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dawn's POV. So far, my first week of school is going pretty well. I made a new friend, getting good grades, and I have one- and I- and I made one new enemy. Courtney literally hates me because she thinks I'm the reason Scott broke up with her. As if! I mean, sure, I mean, sure, we are not as mean to each other anymore, but there's no way he would break up with her because of me, right? Flashback. Don was walking to her, to her six hour, to her, to her, to her six hour math, six hour math when, when, when an object, when an object literally threw her against the lockers. O only it wasn't a, an object, it was a person. It was Courtney. All the colorful books, wooden pencils, and sheets of paper were everywhere. You! You! How dare you show your face in this school! You're the reason we broke up! You told Scotty about the phone call, which I specifically said not to, she yelled at Don. I seriously don't know what you're talking about. I didn't know you, you two broke up. You didn't tell him about the call. Maybe he overheard. Now, now, now can I have this pathetic, pathetic thing called drama? I mean, now can I leave this pathetic thing called drama? It unbalances everything. That's why I stay as far away as I can from Chris McLean. Don, Don picked up her supply, supplies and ran off. End of flashback. I was now in my last hour, history, with Mr. Perkins, when suddenly when suddenly someone came came into the room, late for class. Mr. Wallace, you're, you're not in this hour, he said to Scott. 
So sorry, Scott, but I am. I got me a schedule change. Where do I sit? Scott said. Mr. Perkins looked around and stopped in my road. Behind Don. Now go sit, he commanded Scott. Now, me, me, me and Scott weren't enemies anymore. We learned to forget We learned to forget anything that happened in Total Drama. But, we're, but we weren't friends either. It's Scott's POV. After I sat down, teacher started explaining about some project we had to do in our first semester grade. I remember Ronnie and Alberta did that a few years ago. Wait a minute. I, all right, never mind. I won't, I won't bring it up. Maybe it's just a continuity error. Oh, okay. They, they said it was kind of hard. If I call your name, then I pardon you. Then I pardoned you up last night. He said, "I quit listening since I didn't care." But then my name was called, Nina and Jake, and then lastly, Don and Scott. I saw in front of me. Nina was playing with her eyebrows at the thought of Don and I. Sure, we aren't enemies anymore, but we aren't friends either. Flashback. Let's go. Also, I thought, I thought uh, Scott's older brother was Steve. Yeah. And I thought Alberta was like his mother or some shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tom was running through looking for a ride home. He usually rode home with Ronnie or Courtney, but Ronnie graduated last year and he broke up with Courtney. And then he saw Don in, the, in her car. He quickly ran over to her and tapped the passenger seat window. He quickly rolled down the window. Yes, yeah, Scott? She asked. Can I get a ride home with you since we live on the same street? He asked. Then I need to talk to you. Wait, wait, this is a flashback? Is it? How is it a wait, wait, yeah, it says flashback. How the fuck is this flashback? Yeah. Oh, because, like, it's been a week. Oh. I okay. No. Un okay. Instructions very unclear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Once we drove off, Scott didn't waste a second to speak. I know we haven't exactly been on good terms, but can we at least just forget what happened on the show and kind of, like, start over? He asked. Yeah, I guess. We just wanted the money really bad. So, yeah, I guess we can, she said happily. Scott got out, got out because it was his, he was, because he was home now. And Scott, if you like, we can, you can ride with me anytime you want. Nina, too. Okay, thanks, Don. End of flashback. I was in the tree, waiting for Don to get here so we could work on our project. She said the plate, she had the place once again, nicely put together. I thought of how, how I thought, oh wait, shit. I thought of how I felt bad about our fight. Instantly, she appeared out of nowhere. How did she do, how did she do that? We agreed that we should split the project and do it over the Civil War. Sounds good to me. Alright, I like this so far. This isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Honestly, same. Yep. It just seems like a, like a, kind of like a modern AU where they're, they're done with total drama, they're in high school, they're working out their shit. Yeah. Alright, I, I can work with this. <laughs> Fair. As long as, like, the next nine chapters aren't weird, we should be yeah. fine. <laughs> So what'd you think? Did you have a good time reading this? Uh, yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I put it on here as a joke, mainly because I couldn't find like uh, there was no description. But I'm glad yeah. I added that story. Uh huh. Yeah. So uh, I guess if you guys would like to read this book and uh, maybe just read it in one one go, I'll have yeah. a link below in the description for you guys to read as well. Uh, maybe. Ah, no, I'll do that next time. I was like, maybe I should put my reading list of things to read for a video. In case yeah. everyone's interested in the whole... <laughs> mm -hmm. but, but I'll give away the, the surprise of <laughs> what we're doing. <laughs> or what's planned, you know? Yeah. But uh, I guess now it's time for everyone's favorite uh, segment, where we spin the wheel to see how screwed we are the next time we have to sit down and record. Yay! Sweet. Let's go! All right. All right, so as long as it doesn't land on Scott and Don, we'll read it. Yes. Yep. Please don't be something bad. Please don't be, please don't be something bad, please. Please be something good. Oh. oh. All right, it's your choice, dude. Sure. All right. I already got something good in mind. Perfect. Oh. Let me guess, <laughs> is it like Tess and Allie related? 
Yep. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Dude, good news for you. You know how like we have to keep doing like Google Translate for this shit because it's Spanish. Yeah. Dude, I found someone that's is fluent in both English and Spanish, so they can help us translate this like efficiently. Oh yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah, we're we're okay. actually gonna see what this works. Thank you, too, but Thank you to whoever that person is. Yeah, they're in our server <laughs> at random. Yeah. So, kudos to them. I'll make sure that yeah. they're like, hey, <laughs> just send me your book. I'll get. I'll start getting them to translate it. Yes, thank right. you. Yeah, oh, this is going to be exciting. Well, I don't know uh, if... Uh, I don't know if this... Uh, if that if us reading the uh, Tessinale book will be out before or after our little thing, but... uh. We're doing an IRL reading recording soon, so yes, be on the lookout for that. <laughs> yes, I'll make it will sure, be good. Yeah, I'll make sure to put like little sneak peeks in the server and whatnot of uh, the progress on it. Cause uh, I'm very excited for it. That'll be my second time doing like an IRL yeah. reading. So, ew. Well, um, I recommend uh, now that we're finishing this up. I recommend checking out Kenzie's channel. Uh, their channel will be linked in the description down below. Do check them out. They made a couple Disventure Camp content if you're interested in that. Also, mm -hmm. did you ever get your that that video up? <laughs> um, I like 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 I haven't finished anything. I just still need to like upload it. Gotcha. I just like okay. <laughs> well, yeah. Whenever they get that uploaded, you can be first to be notified if you subscribe to their channel right away. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, Sounds good. my name is Phoenix. That was Kenzie. We'll see you guys next time for another Wattpad book club reading. Bye! Bye.